Before the internet, it was a lot tougher to organize a white supremacist rally hate groups would have to circulate newsletters, make phone calls or go on the radio to get the word out. These days, hate groups can easily and anonymously organize through social media. It just becomes easier to organize, to spread the word, for people to know where to go. Richard Hayson University of California, Irvine political scientist, told Pac Fisk Standard. It could be to raise money, or it could be to engage in attacks on social media. Some of the activity is virtual. Some of it is in a physical place. Social media has lowered the collective action problems that individuals who might want to be in a hate group would face. He continued you can see that there are people out there like you. That's the dark side of social media Facebook took a lot of heat recently for the role of platform played in the Christchurch mosque attack. The gunman went live on the platform several minutes before the shooting showing off his guns and making a reference to PewDiePie. The social network was also used to organize white nationalists for 2017 Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia in 2017 where one person was killed. On Wednesday March 27 in a blog post, Facebook announced it will ban any praise support and representation of white nationalism and separatism on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook had previously prohibited the hateful treatment of people based on race, ethnicity, and religion. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe our how to channel for more informative videos.